Whenever I am writing for a young audience, I feel some obligation to be hopeful. I don't want to give kids some sad and cynical and bleak tale that, you know, makes them just feel like the world is a hopeless place. When I started reading what these like fifth to eighth graders were reading at the school, I just got so inspired. I wanted to get into that world and I wanted to write for those kids. It was just really like, I liked how you could be hopeful and you could be adventurous um, and really still deal with like some important topics. As I was searching around for a new children's book to write, a new character to kind of think about, I started imagining this little vampire boy and um, near where I first lived in Seattle, there's this giant stone troll under a bridge. It's literally like 30 feet tall. And that thing is very creepy. There's a number of these parks out on the bluffs with like old World War II kind of relic barracks and like bunkers. They just kind of feel moody and forgotten. All just great places for vampires to hang out. The big thing that makes Oliver Nocturne different is that Oliver's world is really centered around like almost a traditional nuclear family. He's only 13 years old by sort of emotional standards, but he's been around for like 65 years. I wanted my reader to feel like, okay, there's the world I know, but whoa, all this vampire stuff is happening underneath it. And I'm seeing it from the vampire's point of view and he's going through his life doing all these things that I never knew were possible. I always imagine the soundtrack of what I'm writing. I've tried writing songs for different books, like I wrote an Oliver Nocturne song at one point. Nobody can know just when the wind will start to blow. Take you somewhere you never thought you'd go. It's always been a thing that makes me really happy. I thought I'd try to write one kid's book and now it's been, geez, like almost 15 years since then and I've written 10 of them. And there's no end in sight. Wake up each morning. Are you off to school?